thing away. I can't see. Detective Clark, Dan and Betty Davis. They found her off Highway 22 last night. We suspect it's a kidnapping. Well, we appreciate your help. Did she say anything? Uh, she was mumbling something. Honey, what was she mumbling? What? She was saying something. Uh, she was saying something. I, I, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Well, you've been more than helpful. How do you want to handle this? It was Ted. It was Ted. It was Ted. The name she said, it was Ted. Let's see if you can remember anything else. Thanks for coming in. Now remember, you don't have to pick one unless you're sure. Yeah, hi, this is Detective Clark with Major Crime. Well, we showed her the photo. Um, she picked it up. She balanced it on her knee and then put it back on the stack. So, yeah, hardly a positive.
You read that garbage? Why not? Be careful. That stuff will drive you crazy. Can I get some more water? And another old fashioned. I think my daughter comes here. <laughs> Megan, do you think this collar is too long? It's okay. I mean, it looks fine. Keep messing with it, though. Damn. Hi! Hi! Oh, okay. Yay! Yeah. Ted got into law school, so. He got in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Utah. Utah? Hey! But, what? <sighs> oh, you like them? No, they like us. Really? Yeah. Hey! Hey! Yeah, you too. These guys over here, they said that they want to buy you drinks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These two, they've got some money and they want to spend it on you. Maybe you should come over here and talk to them because they can't Wait. come over there and talk to you for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guys. So, um, have you talked about it? What? You talk. Yeah, I mean, we haven't worked out all the details, but I'm good with being spontaneous. Just like we talk. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's all right, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to do all the talking. Yeah. Okay, good. So, I'm going to take the one on the right, you take the one on the left, just smile. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just smile. You got this. Uh, All right? Yeah. Do you think you'll even like it there? Utah's great. There's mountains, and Ted and I love skiing, and it's sunny, and we could get a big house. Cass, you know he's playing you, right? I mean, you have to know. He's ended up being quite the bargain. People here are so kind. To the future. Are you excited? Excited? Of course I'm excited. So, <laughs> am I coming? You can if you want. If you don't want me to come, you can. Of course, I want you to come. Why wouldn't you say it? Ted! <laughs> it's a big decision. <laughs> I know it's a big decision. That's why we need to discuss it. Right now. It's like you don't want to talk about it. We're drinking. Well, they always say the truth comes out when you drink. It makes sense for me. I'm going to law school. And you tell us a good place. I, I can get a job. Cass. I love you. More than you know. I did not get a rash. I did not. No, I really didn't. I swear I didn't. No. It was like Ben, Ben, did I get a rash? Ted? <laughs> Ted. You know I'm staying out of it. Okay. Come on, we'll pick it up tomorrow. You did take off your pants. It's so rough. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so we're walking home, right? And all of a sudden, Ben here pulls out this massive joint. I mean, seriously, the thing was like that. Okay. <laughs> no, go ahead. Tell her what you said. I said that I wrapped it. Ted yeah, wrapped it tighter than Ted's pussy. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on! He wrapped it tighter than he's ever seen. Sorry. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we decided to smoke this thing in the stairway, right? Because where else? And all of a sudden there's these two cops there, and some jerk calls the cops. Hey, can I get a rag? And so I just look at Ben, and I kind of. 
I gotta throw my arm around him. Oh, you know, like, you are making love. Wow. <laughs> 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 that was, I definitely did this. Because that's the thing. No, seriously, that's the thing. 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 He was so shocked. He just let us go. Why? Uh, well, I, 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 I guess sometimes people don't want to wait that Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's easier though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's easier that way. Yeah. Of course, your Ted says it's easier. It What's that it's supposed to mean? Knows. He knows everything. Okay. He has his boyfriend. You, got, you have another one Yours of the seems the, like the, big, the big one. Is that is that my fault? Ben's Ben's bust, busting out one. Sure. Megan, I I had intended on coming here. I'm leaving. I know she told you that. Hey, you guys. You know you've been going at each other's throats all night. Okay. Can we just have a couple more drinks? I was just trying to talk to my best friend, and then he comes and like uh -huh. interrupts us. When you're trying to talk. Ted, dude, I'm really sorry, man. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you need another one. Or two. Or three. Hey. Hey. Why'd you leave? I wasn't feeling good. What are you doing? Unpacking. Can I come in? I'm really not feeling good. I want to make you feel better. Actually, can we go somewhere? Right now? Yeah, okay. I'm just sitting there, everything's fine, and then you're gone. I wasn't feeling good. You weren't feeling good. Yeah. I, I don't know. And then Megan just comes at me about you. Don't worry about Megan. So you're not mad at me? No. So you're fine. <laughs> I love you. Great. No, you're supposed to say you. I love, love you too? What's up your net? You say you love me, but I'm not coming with you. We've been together for four years. You're going tomorrow and you don't even have the decency to break it off. Break it off? You don't care. Why would I break it off? Well, if you cared about me, you... No, there's nothing for you in Utah. There's nothing for you in Utah. Take me home. But we can still be together. There's nothing for me. Don't make me walk. You remember the first time we met? I had been <laughs> watching you from across the bar and I was upset because my friends had left, so you said... Ted. So you said... I said I'll be your friend. And the truth is, 
I wasn't upset because my friends had left. I was upset because I had just spent my last dollar on beer. And I couldn't afford to buy you a drink. Come a long way. Because of you. Before you, my life was completely empty. And I... And I don't want it to be empty again. That's enough. What? Take me home. Now. Yeah. He drives a Volkswagen, but it's not metallic. He sometimes speaks in this formal kind of way that could be mistaken for an accent. And his name is Ted. We did a search on bug owners named Ted. There's a lot more of them than you'd think. I was helping him move and I saw crutches in his room. Purchase. Yeah, the newspaper said... Yeah, but that wasn't enough to scare you, right? You called me last night. Why? Because I saw this. We looked into your boyfriend. He was called in by a university professor when the article came out. But he just doesn't look like a suspect. Oh, good. Now, if anything comes up, we're only a phone call away. You must think I'm crazy. Only for him. Cass, you must know that some things should not be demystified. In another world, I'd have been happy to let you do to me what the storm does to the sky, break me open, watch me roll and flash and crack. But inside me lives such an independent, insatiable desire to be filled by another thing, so unclear. And I must say that that, that fullness might only come when I learn to live with myself. Cass, I intend to keep you. Let me go for now. I'm not gone, just elsewhere, just for a time. Just know I'm beside you, and loving you with boundless depth always is this stranger at your side.